Before the bell, U.S. indices rising on Monday, helped by shares in transportation, real estate, and automobiles and component sectors. Advancers just beating out decliners, 54% of S&P 500 constituents trading higher yesterday. Now after the market close, American International Group, AIG, will be selling 50 million shares of Aircap. Separately, Aircap agreed to repurchase $750 million worth of the company's shares from AIG. Myland's executive chairman said Teva Pharmaceuticals needs to, make a needs to make it clear whether it will make a formal binding offer to buy the company or not. While it's keeping over in Asia, most of the Asian markets today were trading lower. The Nikkei down 0.13%, the Hang Seng down just about half a percent, while South Korea's coast be in the red 1.13%. European markets, they are mixed, and U.S. futures are calling for a soft opening. Earnings releases expected for today. Medtronic, fourth quarter EPS, seen at $1.11. And we have Dollar General, first quarter EPS, seen at $0.81. Cents. Economic data due out today, 10 o'clock in the morning. April factory orders expected at negative 0.1%. Well, we also have the June IBD, TIPP, economic optimism read, and that's expected at 49 .9. And throughout the session, we have May Ward's total vehicle sales. Regarding the trend on indice, Trading Central says the S&P 500 sees its key resistance at 2117. The contract still capped by the resistance threshold at 2111. And short positions below 2117 are favored, with targets at 2090 and 2079 in extension. The Nasdaq, meanwhile, seeing consolidation, preferring short positions below 4535, while the Dow Jones also seeing consolidation, preferring short positions below 18,000. 100.